Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use this amazing tool to go and schedule content across all of your social media platforms and to use this one platform to go design graphics for your content. So the platform of choice today is Adobe Express and thank you Adobe Express for sponsoring this video by the way. I have been partnering with them for like over a year now and I'm a huge Adobe Express fan. It is just so convenient to go and create graphics easily and for free through their website. So let's get into this. So first to get started, we're going to literally go and look up Adobe Express. I will also drop the link down below in case you don't know how to look this up. We're going to click this first link here and it will take us to this page. So we're just going to click this button that says get Adobe Express free. And there are a ton of different templates that you can go use to go create your graphics. So let's work together to go create one because I am hosting a streamer like speed friending event and I need to make a graphic that will go out on my socials for this. So it will be for Twitter. I'm just going to go hit custom size and for Twitter, I'm going to make it um, 1280 by 720 and then we're going to go hit next. So there are also tons of different templates that you can already pick from to go and make your graphic. So I'm going to go kind of look for one that I like. I think this one is really cute. So I'm just going to go click it and it would already populate my graphic with the preset template. So from here, we can go and click any of these elements to go change it. So I'm going to double click it. I think I might mess around and change the font a little bit. Also going over here real quick, if you double click text, um, one fun thing for Adobe Express is on the right hand bottom side, they actually have font recommendations in case you're not feeling the current font, but you don't know what else to pick. One thing that I also like adjusting too is the line spacing. I just generally find that the default line spacing doesn't do it for me. So I always like manually adjusting it myself to, you know, kind of make it look a little better. This is just my personal taste when it comes to designing graphics and things like that. Also, another rule of thumb when it comes to making graphics, generally for branding purposes, you want to kind of work with limited palettes. So you want to work with a limited color palette and a limited set of fonts. So if you notice, I am only using two different fonts. I'm using the recommended LMAC refined for the blue text. And then I'm using the asphalt black condensed for the larger bubblier text. So again, I wouldn't deviate beyond using two fonts because visually it does get a little bit confusing for viewers who are looking at this graphic to kind of understand what's going on. Also, another tip to go make your graphics look nicer is from a graphic design perspective, grouping. So if you notice the text streamer speed friending are all really close together because that is the title, they belong together. And then the little tagline make new streamer friends kind of sits on its own, but it is close to the title because it is relevant to kind of further explain what is going on in this event. And then there is a bit of a gap. And then I put the date and the time and the location, which is my discord together. Because again, in graphic design, like grouping your text elements is very important. So it would make sense to go group the time and the location together. And it would make sense to group the title and the explanation of the event together. And then now I do want to change this image of this one random person here because that's not me. So let me go look up like an image of myself to add in here. Okay, so I added a little photo of one of my emotes. But this is like a demo emote that I made for something else. And then I'm going to kind of like change the text color to... I like blue, but I feel like that blue is a lot. I'm gonna make it like a little purple. I don't know, I'm a, I think purple is a cute color. And then also a really nice thing with Adobe Express is once you like set a color, then it will recommend you that color and the color palette. So you don't have to keep copying the hex code over and over again. And I think I'll leave the blue for this, for this little like square thing going on. All right, so this looks super cute now. We've put together our graphic. So now we need to go and schedule it. So we're gonna go hit this little calendar icon in the top right. And now let me go over to this side. So here we can go and click on the top bar here where it says select channels to go and connect our social channels to Adobe Express so that it can schedule our posts. So I'm gonna need to reconnect all of my socials. I swear I connected my Twitter, but I'm on like a new computer now, so. All right, so I connected what I could. I cannot connect my Instagram right now because my phone for some reason is not receiving the 2FA. I was always planning to post this on Twitter anyways, so I connected the accounts for now. I also connected my Pinterest. I'll give you a little Etsy tip at the end about this one. So we're gonna make sure on the top bar, you select the channels that you want. You can actually select multiple. So I had clicked on my Pinterest. Now it selected both. If I click my Pinterest again, it would deselect it. So now only Twitter is selected. So this is the media that we have. And then on the right hand side here, we can go click the publish date. So today is the 21st. You're going to see this video later, but I'm going to choose to schedule this post maybe um, a couple hours later. Let me make it like four. Uh oh, there we go. Hit done. And then we can go add a caption as well. So for my caption, I'm going to put something like, all right, so this is going to be the caption that I'm going to put. 
basically like telling you guys what the event is about, what day it is, what time it is, and the form that people need to fill out for the event. So we can also replace media with link preview. I would not do that um, because that would like replace your image with this, with like a preview of the Google form, which I don't want. I want the image. And then we can hit preview to see how this would look like on Twitter, which is also really helpful to go see. So you can close that and whenever we are ready, we can just hit the schedule button. And what is really helpful here is in Adobe Express, there already is a calendar. So you can view it week by week or you can view it month by month, which would look something like this. And you can see all of the posts that you already have scheduled out. So this is super helpful if you want to get one spot to view all of your scheduled social posts super easy to do also on a side note besides just promoting events and making graphics for your streams and your content creation stuff this is really helpful for pushing your etsy store on pinterest so in case you didn't know i have an etsy shop in which i sell digital goods and assets for twitch streamers and i heavily use pinterest to go and promote all of my listings this content scheduler in adobe express is so helpful to go and push out your content for pinterest and to drive sales so to do this we can just go back to home and we're going to make a new graphic. So for Pinterest, I actually use the Instagram story sizes. So perfect. And again, there are already tons and tons of pre-made templates you can go choose from. So I literally just look through the pre-made templates and find one that I like. So I'm going to use this one. I'm just going to change some of the graphics, some of the text real quick. So I'm going to ungroup all of this. I want to delete this and I want to delete this specifically. And then I'm going to call this like Twitch emotes. And then at the bottom, I like putting my Twitch link. At the top, I just like putting like Twitch emotes. And then I'm going to go and upload a screenshot graphic of the thumbnail of my Etsy listing or the listing image. So I have these little red dragon emotes that I've made that I'm very proud of. So I will just do something like this, place them dead center. And then we're going to need to change the background colors to match what is going on in my emotes. So I'm going to maybe pick this red. I'm going to maybe desaturate it a little bit so it's not super overwhelming for the for the eyes. And I'm going to color select the yellow off of my graphic so that it matches better. And let's go through and change all of the colors of the other elements so that it matches the color palette of our Etsy listing. All right, perfect. Now we're going to go wait for this to save. You can't schedule any graphics or anything like that until your graphic actually saves in Adobe Express. Now that it's saved, we're going to go hit the schedule button and I'm going to click Pinterest. So our media is already here. Let me go over to this side. So for the caption, I'm going to put something like check out these adorable dragon emotes on my Etsy shop. You can use this for your Twitch streams or your I can also select from the boards that I already have to go put this in so I put this in my twitch asset board for a title you want to slam in a lot of keywords let me go to my Etsy shop to go find that set of emotes what I honestly do is I literally just copy what my title is for my listing on Etsy so for this one I put red mystical dragon cr creature emotes Da, 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 da. So I'm just going to paste that as my title and then for destination link and then for the destination link, I'm going to copy the link of my Etsy listing, put that in there and we can hit the preview. Oh, OK, there we go. I logged into my account. So currently it's not registering this link that I copied from the URL as a correct link. If that ever happens, you can click one of these buttons at the top, the listing tools. You can just click the tweet button. It will generate like a shortened URL for you for Twitter which works for anything else. So we just copy this and we can paste this one in instead if this link doesn't work. Preview. There we go. And now we can preview our Pinterest pin to go promote our Etsy listing. So we can close that and I'm going to set the scheduler time to maybe like a couple minutes ahead so that I can show you how this looks like. So I'm going to hit schedule. If we scroll down in our content scheduler, you can see that at 2.53 that this image or this pin would post on my Pinterest. So I'll visit you guys again in three minutes so that we can see how this looks like. All right, like that, our content is now published. It says so right here. Three minutes magically have passed in the span of one second. And now let's go to my Pinterest to see if this actually worked. So this is my Pinterest. And if we scroll down here, I have to go all the way down because I have so many idea pins. Ta-da! It is my most recent pin here. These are all idea pins, so it's going to be the one below it, obviously. But right here, we already have a pin. And this is, again, going to drive more sales and people towards my Etsy shop. If you are a seller on Etsy and you're trying to go drive sales for your Etsy listing, the Adobe Express content scheduler is so helpful because it is literally a one-stop shop for you to go and make your graphic and then promote it on Etsy 
through the content scheduler. I do want to note though, that if you do have the free plan, you can schedule up to two posts per month, but you can connect up to five social channels. But if you have the premium Adobe Express plan, then you can schedule an unlimited amount of posts per month. I have the unlimited plan, the premium one, so it's super nice for me to use personally. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I really hope it was helpful. Don't forget again to check me out on Twitch. I do stream there three days a week. And also on Etsy, I do sell digital goods and emotes and things like that for Twitch streamers. And I also have a coffee in which I have free resources for streamers and content creators. And once again, thank you so much Adobe Express for sponsoring this video. Adobe is like my dream sponsor and I am so grateful to be working with them. I love them so much. Like they're also so easy to work with. It makes their life so, so much easier. Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. And I hope to catch you guys in another video. Peace.